And so I spent about six years in Ecuador. And so many of the days were frustrating uh, to me because the anesthesia equipment that we had was old or at the end of its life. I spent a lot of my time fixing and sending things out. Was struck by the idea, well, what if we had a monitor that was easy to transport, easy to update, uh, easy to own uh, for the practitioner? And that was the genesis of, of the SAM project. Anesthetic-related mortality in the poorest one-third of the world's population has been observed to be as frequent as one in 150 patients, approximately 800 times that of the developed world. The vast majority of these deaths are preventable using standard patient monitoring equipment, ubiquitous in high-income countries. We started by asking, what technology do citizens of low- and middle-income countries already have, if any? The answer quickly became obvious a smartphone. Even the most basic smartphone has computing power and display capability to function as the core processing and display unit for a patient vital signs monitor. From there, we developed SAM. SAM is a highly portable, robust, and affordable device that when paired with the user's smartphone running our SAM app, becomes a patient vital signs monitor ready to combat core risks to the lives of millions undergoing surgical procedures around the world. It's technology that we already have, but the exciting thing is rolling it into a package that's portable and, and able to get out into, the, uh, into any place in the world easily. You can put this in your backpack. Uh, you can put it in um, a purse, and it's easy to take wherever, wherever you might find yourself. My hope is that it would be approximately 250 to 300 dollars US. In comparison, an anesthesia or a general patient monitor is in the uh, five to ten thousand dollar range. Not to mention the size and getting it to the location that it that it's needed is is also prohibitive. The cost is a big deal. If you're trying to be an anesthesia an anesthesiologist or an anesthesia provider. Um, and you know, it's either spending thousands of dollars on something or spending a few hundred dollars, right? I mean, that's a, that can potentially be a deal breaker. And then, so in the context of a limited use environment, if you're a provider you know, working remotely in, in, uh, in a poorer area, um, you can actually afford to just purchase it on your own and, and provide care in those environments. Benefits of SAM reach far beyond the operating room. Patient care will be streamlined and even enhanced for paramedics, firefighters, first responders, disaster relief workers, battlefield and military personnel, home health care takers, and any individual who seeks personal medical monitoring. It's also easier to carry around. If you have this smaller device um, with your patient and you have your phone, have it set up, um, it's much easier to, to, to move around with and the portability of it. It would, be, it would be super helpful having that because this larger monitor, it's, it's nice, it's really nice, but most of the time, because of the price point of it, it's only departments that have ambulances that, that usually keep them. A lot of departments that don't run their own ambulance service, it's usually a, a really big cost that's not worth, the, worth having. We hope to develop this particular monitor at least to another level, another iteration of it, where things, where it's even smaller and it's ready to produce. And that can happen in the course of months to several years. It should be ready to be put on the shelves and sold to whoever would want to purchase it.